So we have here now a wonderful exhibition of all the work we did and we are very surprised how easy it was to paint on this wood. And uh, here we have a collection of fish and with all the colors we painted. Yeah. Yes, yeah. with many techniques. So this one here. All right, so now you saw all these objects which uh, we are going to use for the painted furniture or the painted on panels, like panels like that, panels like that, panels like that, panels like that. All kind of panels are very large panels, uh, that you can uh, put on top of that frame, you see. Very good. So, in order to do the painting, it's a full process. You have to start with uh, making the binding, the glue. Uh, for the glue, you need casein, casein, which is a powder of milk, which is almost like milk that you give to, to the baby. Um, so you take 80 gram, 80 gram of casein. Voilà. 80 gram of casein. You have to have it very dry, so you have to be très careful. If it's wet, it's not working. Then you add uh, 80 gram, 100 gram of, no, uh, half a liter of water for 80 gram. Voilà. Donc, you add your water and you have a little fouet. And half a liter of water. It's not exactly what I'm doing, but you have to write it down. That's all you have to do. All right, so while the pupil is actually turning the milk with the water in order to make this glue, we are going to try to do at the same time the Christmas lunch, no, the Eastern lunch, which is considered, which is a leg of lamb with garlic. Okay. And this is a very easy recipe. So what you do, you take your potatoes, you put it under a big dish like that. You make your little slice of potatoes like this. It's called a leg of lamb a boulangère. Boulanger, because they used to bring that to the bakery to be cooked in the oven in the old time. But now we have our own oven, so it's, uh, it's easier. So now your piece is full of little piece of garlic all over. So you add some salt, like this, all over. One side, other side, voila. And you just... Drop it in this dish, and that's it. That's finished. That's all done. So now we are going to prepare the color with that glue. We add a little bit of glue, the quantity you want. If you want a lot of glue, a lot of ochre, and then a little bit of pigment. And then you mix it quietly like that at the right consistency. If it's too thick, then we add a little bit of water. And actually, it's perfect. And this is this ochre. We use it for background mainly, mainly for background, like this background here. This is going to become a graining. I will show you how to do that. We have, we have the blue here. So we add a little bit of blue uh, with the glue and we mix it. Voila. So this is my pupil, uh, Pia, Italian. 
she's actually do, redoing. Uh, she loved one of the paintings that she saw on a book. So she's doing that uh, by, uh, with all the pigment. She starts with the background in blue without any graining. She prepared the background, the color she wanted, and now she's able to paint the flower on this background with casein. So, and now that I almost finished uh, the design, I decided to make a little frame and I paint the frame. So she does the rest. When the painting is completely finished and then you are happy with it, you put two or three coats of shellac, then you between each coat you sand and you wait two hours and you put a new coat on, on sand and put a new coat. After your background done, you also have to put a very light coat of shellac for the color not mixing in each other. And that's appro approximately all. It's a lot to learn and I would love you to come to be able to paint your whole furniture or paint a frame or paint a panels or paint your, your door or paint anything, anything you like in your house uh, that you are uh, a platter or anything you like in your house will look not good that you will transform into something of yourself. Voilà. Goodbye. Tu fais un film ou des photos Ouais, il est trop cuit.